before we get started, I just wanted to show y'all my little pajama set that I got from Target. I just bought these the other day. Cute. Have y'all ever seen a Capri pajama? Y'all probably have, but y'all ain't seen mine. Y'all ain't seen mine. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jalen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, y'all, y'all be watching my videos, but don't be liking, commenting, and subscribing. So today's video is going to be a little self-care. I just got out of the shower. I'm all, y'all see me all glistening. And then I got to do this face mask because my new skincare routine. But I was like, why not sit down and talk to my besties? Because y'all already know that y'all my besties. Okay. Okay. And if y'all see me swinging this ponytail, it's because I wanted to put my hair in a ponytail. And y'all know, well, if you follow me on TikTok, y'all seen that I cut my hair. So, that's all y'all getting from me. First, I want to talk about confidence. I noticed that me, myself personally, that I've struggled with confidence a lot. And I'm slowly but surely, like, my confidence getting up there, baby. Okay? Y'all see, I, I ain't got no eyelashes on. I do not got them bad boys on and it's because i'm trying to learn to love my natural self like wear makeup eyelashes like you know how you naturally born that, that that's how i'm trying to be with myself and i ain't gonna even lie i noticed that me going on this skincare journey was low-key a blessing because i didn't realize that i didn't how do i say this like I didn't hate myself but i hated myself in a way because i'm trying to cover up my natural beauty and all of that with makeup eyelash well eyelashes are not really because you know i i y'all see i ain't got them but like even weeds and all of that like I'm trying to tell myself like you don't need these things like yes you love these things but you don't need them so if you don't get your hair done for two months, like Jalen, it's okay. Or if you don't get your eyelashes, eyelashes done for a month, it, you gonna be good, girl. If you don't need to do your makeup every day, you you, you good, sis. You good, sis. I know y'all probably like, girl, what is all these little journeys that you going on? But like, this this is a self love journey for me that I'm going on, and I need to take care of myself. I just wanna feel like it's okay to go outside without having to be done up like you're not obligated to do nothing so girl if you want to go outside if i want to go outside with messed up hair no eyelashes no makeup no none of that it's a sweatshirt and some sweatpants like it's okay once upon a time i like would do my makeup every single day and it just feels like a relief to not have to do that not only is it time consuming it's just too much like don't get me wrong i love beating my face like <laughs> so like for me, okay? i love beating my face but i don't want to feel like it's necessary like yes if i i go out to dinner or go on a whatever it don't matter like yes it's okay to do that but girl you going to the mailbox so why do you feel the need to, to do all of that like it's very unnecessary and i feel like Social media played a big role in that because I spend a lot of time uh, on social media and I just see people being barefaced and confident. And I feel like me personally, I could not do that because I don't have the best skin in the world. I've seen this one girl that I follow and she posted her skin and she suffered from acne. Like everybody's skin isn't perfect. And I'm like, I don't know why I felt like it was just me that suffered. Like when you have acne it feels like it's just it's you versus the acne in a way if y'all get what i'm saying like it's just it's a horrible feeling to me like i i was like i wanted clear skin for the longest like you ever just look back at your baby pictures and like you you be like girl your skin look good you was three you weren't doing all that extra stuff but your skin look good girl but i noticed that when, once i start doing makeup all the time my skin started getting worse. So I'm like, I, I'm i not happy with my skin, but you're doing stuff to make it worse. Like take a break. Like in, in school, I was doing it every single day. I didn't take a break. I was, li I was literally doing my makeup seven days a week. Like 
breathe they say the worst thing that you could ever do for your skin is sleep with your makeup on you know how they make the long lasting 24 hour makeup no not they don't mean leaving off for 24 hours or 48 hours or or whatever it doesn't mean that but me you know me i'm like i need to get that <laughs> that's just really what i'm doing and i honestly i feel so great right now i feel okay with posting well wait hold on <laughs> hold on without a filter i'm not ready for that yet but i do feel okay with posting the picture on instagram makeup free eyebrow free eyelash free all of that like really i i, I could really say that but enough of all of that now let's talk about things that i have been up to y'all so i know well y'all don't, don't know what's going on because i haven't been talking about it but i have really been doing a lot because i i did drop out of college as y'all know and i'm just trying to figure out a way to be successful without college because i know there's things or there's people there's billionaires that haven't been to college but i feel like i need i need to hurry up and figure it out so i'm trying to dibble and dabble is that the word or the same i'm trying to dibble and dabble in different things so i can find ways to make money okay so my business my business is not going how i want it to go so i'm in the process of rebranding all of that it's been stressful but i'm like i'm excited and i i have so many things in store for jalen renee beauty and i don't think i feel like once everything gets in motion and all of that like it's relaunched and all of that i feel like i'm not gonna be able to be stopped like i see myself having a very successful hair business and i just god forbid i fail this time well it wasn't it's not even a fit even a fail it's just me not learning the 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 hair business doing research when i started my business i didn't even have a business plan i was just like well i dropped out of school i need to figure out something to do because i can't just sit here and not do nothing so i was like you know what i love a good weave so i want to sell some hair you know what i mean i didn't even do a good job i'm thirsty oops i don't really talk this much like i do but i don't so i'm thirsty y'all this this is a, a green tea from uh italy in north park bomb bomb but like i didn't even really do a good job with the vendors like i i showed i found two vendors no i found two vendors and i bought no i found three vendors i'm tripping i bought samples from them and i just hurried up and i, I chose one i was like you know what this is my vendor now let's buy it here I'll, and let's just start that lemonade beauty and i feel like i didn't have the hair long enough to see like to see what is good for the hair what's not good for the hair can i bleach the hair can i dye the hair can i do any of that like washed it no none of that i just hurried up and bought all this hair to sell and i didn't even test it out i don't even i didn't even think to do that i was just like i need to find a way to make money and that's like the stupidest well not stupid i'm trying to be kinder to myself and not speak so negative or yeah but i feel like that wasn't the smartest thing to do because a business just can't just blow up well it can't certain people's business like for an example the air business blew up overnight like but it took time actually no let me be quiet because we do not know how long Diera put in the work to make her business as successful as it is and i just i think i put my business together within like 72 hours and i was like i need to hurry up and launch this and then my launch day it did not go as planned i thought i was gonna sell out like march when did i launch march something it was like the end of march i think i i didn't get i didn't even get any sales and i'm like bruh i'm like what's going on i'm like i don't i got a cute logo uh my website cute I, I wasted so much money on things like that i didn't even like and then i was scared to tell people like hey i don't like this like girl you paid your money for something 
So you need to get your, your money's worth. And if you don't like that, they can fix it because that's what they're here for. You can edit. Like some people give like three revisions on graphic designs for free. So why not ask them to do that? But I didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings. So I just went with it. So I wasted so much money on graphic designs, hair, all of that. So I was like, stop. <laughs> In June, at the towards the end of June, I was like, I do not like where I'm at currently. So I need to stop what I'm doing. Like my website, all of that is still up, but I need to stop what I'm doing and figure out a plan. So for the past, it's August, August something. So let's just say it's September. So for the past few months, I've been finding graphic designers. I've only paid one person so far and that's for my new logo. And I love my new logo. I got it in different color, not different colors, but like the color scheme of my, my business. Cause that pink, that <laughs> y'all only gonna pink, see that pink for so long. And I feel like my business was getting very much childish. So I, it's gonna be completely different now. Like I like clean, neutrals, all of that. And I don't understand why I didn't think to do that to begin with. Oh wait, it's because I was rushing. But I, I found my logo, my logo is done and all of that but i'm slowly i'm doing the the business plan uh well actually no i haven't started the business plan when that should have been the first thing that i should have done but i i literally have a checklist of things that i need to do i'm searching for multiple vendors i have the type of hair that i want to sell like well i don't want to tell y'all because i want it to be a surprise but i have specific hairs like raw hair i want to sell raw hair not virgin hair i didn't even know the difference between raw and virgin hair and that's something that you should know when you're in the hair business because you could you could say that you you selling raw hair and there's virgin hair you see them fibers in your hair in their hair like no this that's not right and people paying all this money thinking they getting something and they're not this trifling so i'm learning more about the hair business i'm learning about how to, how to be a business woman, just period. So I'm taking the time, I'm doing a little, I'm not doing a, I'm doing a mood book, not a mood board. So I have that uh, products that I wanna eventually put out. I have all of that and I just want myself to be successful in this hair business. And But I don't only want to do uh, the hair business. I'm also trying to, make money like i there's so much stuff that i learned from tiktok and it's i love me some tiktok like really i know they was talking about deleting tiktok because it's they giving out too much information but nah baby don't delete that like i need tiktok like i found so many ways that you can make money like there's this app that uh y'all know the girl uh her and her, I think it's her husband, she'll do like a prank on him. And then once he find out it's a prank, he'll do that <laughs> with his shoulders, like them. I found out that she did uh, a, like, you post your outfits on the app and you could get commission. If somebody purchases from your link, you can get commission for that. Like the commission ain't much, but at the end of the day, money is money, okay? And then I'm trying to find a way to become a, uh, a, uh, Amazon affiliate because <laughs> I be shopping at Amazon. <laughs> Amazon be coming to our house every day. So you know what I mean? So why not get paid for that? I'm just finding ways to make quick money that's that's legal. <laughs> that's legal because when I say it like that, they sound like I'm trying to do illegal stuff, but I'm not trying to do that. But I'm just trying to find a way to make quick money and money that I know that's just going to keep coming in. Like I want to call it like that money, I'm gonna just call that fun money because it's not much, but you could do something with it. Like I want my, my, uh, I want my hair business. And then once I'm able to get paid with YouTube, like no rush, cause I still love doing YouTube in a way. This is very therapeutic to me, but I want my hair business to be my first source of income. And then I want YouTube to be my second source of income. And then everything else is just play money or fun money, whatever you want to call it. Hold on. Oh, my face is but honestly i just wanted to give y'all a little life update and talk about how i am and how i'm doing which i'm actually doing great surprisingly because <laughs> like a few months ago i was literally just crying on youtube because of my anxiety struggles and honestly 
posting that video was the best thing that I could have ever done because it made me want to work on it. And honestly, I haven't felt the need to take the anxiety pills. Like, I have these oils. <laughs> One second. But I have these different oils. Like, stress. This one is pain release, but it's essential oils. But anyway, I actually haven't felt the need to take the anxiety pills. So that's great. I found different ways to cope with the anxiety without needing to take the pill. And, and I'm so happy that I could say that because once upon a time, I didn't think that I could get to this point. <laughs> so we doing good. Okay. But we just gonna call. I'm trying to figure out what I want to call this video. Like, Dear Diary. Like, a diary series. Because I feel like I like venting to y'all because y'all understand in a way even if y'all may not comment thank y'all so much for watching this video i know this video is probably like all over the place and i didn't know what this video was going to be about i just wanted to talk to y'all but thank y'all so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and then oh wait i need to show y'all my skin after the mask so i can give y'all a little yeah so give me two seconds excuse my hair y'all but this is my face with no product on i didn't add any product because i wanted y'all to see the real like the real deal i'm sorry but yeah so so far my face has really been doing good it's still dry like it didn't get crusty yet i my, my new word is crustified because my face began crustified okay but it didn't get crusty yet but she was pretty much explaining to me that all oh, y'all see all these dark marks this is all gonna eventually fall off and yeah so that's how my skin looks currently. I've only been doing this for, we'll say this is my second week because the other week I was still using other products because I didn't like my face being dry. So this is the second week. And oh well, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Bye friends. Bye y'all.